When UROC was going to be opened, the university had unfortunately brought in a star researcher to do work with families. People in the community were concerned that research was going to be done on them rather than with them. The university, understanding that they had misstepped, worked with the community and made other decisions. There were many in the community who still needed and wanted work with families around their challenges with trauma. And so we picked that back up, but we wanted to go about it a little bit differently um, than the university had, in the, had done the first time around. So instead of the university leading the way, um, the university kind of served as the convener and we talked about different groups that would be important um, to lead this project. This um, trauma recovery project is just one really clear example of how the university can bring its resources, its expertise, um, its willingness uh, to work with community and actually have a positive outcome. One of our primary works has been really to, to describe what trauma is for ourselves, to decide whether or not that's even a word that's appropriate for how we look at the things that we experience. We've soon found out that really communities didn't like the word trauma. They felt that trauma was something that had been assigned to them. They became the people who were the subjects of being traumatized as opposed to the people who have assets and skills and understandings and wisdom about how does one heal. One of our goals was to bring all of the groups together so that they could build re relationships with each other, um, to uh, build the possibility of networking across groups. There was so much work for people to do in their individual groups. We weren't anywhere near cross-talking this. Then I realized, but wait, the talking to one another is happening. It's happening in a different way. So the individual groups were meeting and talking, and then we'd have an event where two or three people from the different groups would say, I was thinking about this. Well, let's go in the other room and let's talk about it. When you do engaged scholarship or engaged outreach, it begins at the point of relationship building. Every time we had a meeting, it was like a, a mini uh, support group because we would always talk about our own trauma and I think it, it, it helped us build a, a connection with the staff where I believe they felt like they were I'm sure they felt like they was part of all the groups but we really felt connected. The fact that the trauma recovery project was about people learning how to work a process and then to have outcomes from that was very important to our learning about how we engage with communities and how we transform the work that universities and communities do together.